Welcome to the Craft Tessa, everyone. If you are new, my name is Vanessa. On today's DIY video, we're going to make these modern and chic tea light holders that are perfect for any type of decor. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook where I post super quick and easy DIYs and subscribe to my YouTube channel where I post new videos every week. Now let's get crafting. So the materials we're gonna need for this project are the wood planks from the crafter square section of the Dollar Tree. They come in a package along with the little tiny wooden cubes also from the Dollar Tree, some Gorilla Glue, some hot glue, and some Varitane wood stain, which I use e the chestnut brown color. It happens to be one of my favorite colors. So let's begin with this project. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the little wood blocks as the feet to um, this piece. I'm going to use some Gorilla Glue along with some hot glue in order for it to um, have a stronger bond. So let's continue with attaching the little feet to each of these planks. So now that I attached two of the little wooden cubes to one side, I'm going to hot glue and use the Gorilla Glue to attach two planks to each other. Um, then I'm going to clamp them so they can uh, have some time to hold. So I put a generous amount of the wood glue and then I'm going to put a little bit of the hot glue so it can give it a secure bond. So let's continue with that. So now that I glued those two planks together, I'm going to add the feet to the remaining side of this piece, uh, again, using the wood glue and the hot glue. So let's continue with that part. So I'm going to make a second uh, piece of this uh, stand and I'm going to do the same process I did with the first one. I'm going to do it with the second one. So I'm going to speed up this process a bit so you can see it again and this way I understand how it's done. So let's do that. So now that the wood has dried on both of these pieces, I'm going to attach two of the small wood blocks to the center of each of these stands in order to give the, um, the seam a much stronger hold. 
and then to secure it even further i'm going to hot glue and use the wood glue with a popsicle stick in the middle this way it reinforces the seams and um, this piece won't fall apart so let's continue doing that And now the final step is to use the wood stain and stain both of these pieces. I'm going to use one of the foam brushes from the Dollar Tree and just apply a, a coat to each and then I wipe them down a little bit with some paper towels. So let's continue with this part. So now that the wood stain is dry, I'm going to take some of the barbecue skewer sticks and I'm going to measure um, the sides and I'm going to add pieces of this to each side. Using a scissor, I'm gonna cut them and then I'm just going to you know, use some sandpaper to sand down the edges so they won't be rough. Uh, then after that, we're gonna use some of the pony beads that you use for your hair. I'm going to attach one in the middle of each of the barbecue skewer sticks uh, to give it a little pop, to give it a little modern look. So let's continue with that. And those are obviously the pony beads. So what I'm going to do to give it a more secure hold, I'm going to hot glue the pony bead first to the wood planks. Then I'm going to slide in the barbecue skewer sticks. So using a little bit of hot glue, you're gonna hot glue a bead in the center of each of the sides of the plank, then put a tiny little bit of glue on the barbecue skewer itself, and then just slide it in, and it will hold perfectly well. Let's finish this off.
now we are done with these two pieces. The finishing touch is going to be the glass tea light holders, which yes, you can buy at the Dollar Tree. Uh, they're the ones that come three in a pack. I absolutely love the way that this turned out. It is a modern piece that can fit any decor. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell to get notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching. See you all on my next DIY.